Welcome back. Let's do another serious linear regulator with discrete components. So let's look at this circuit. Let's understand it. We have an unregulated input and we have the output in series through our regulating circuit. This is why we call this a series regulator. As in the previous examples, we are using the sealer to establish a reference voltage. So as long as we have enough current here for the sealer to be in the reverse breakdown, in this node, we're going to have the sealer voltage. So a sealer, um, <clears throat> we can use even a low value sealer because this, the output voltage is going to be an amplified version of that voltage, the sealer voltage. So we know the voltage here. If this transistor is in the active region, we know that the voltage base emitter is going to be approximately 0 0.7 volts. So we know that here, the base is equal to the sealer voltage plus 0 0.7. Now, if we know the voltage at the base, we can find the voltage at the output. Several ways we can do it, right? One of them is the voltage at the base is also equal to the voltage divider. If we assume a low current there, meaning approximately equal to R1 over R1 plus R2 times B output, and we solve for B output. That's one way to do it. The other way, which is actually equivalent, is to say, if I know the voltage here, I know the current through R1. And since there is no current here, uh, so, so my current through R1 is going to be equal to Vc plus 0 0.7 plus the voltage over the resistance R1. It's our current. Difference in potential over resistance. And then I multiply this times R2 to get V output. Okay. All of it. The output is this plus R2. So this is the current here, this voltage, and then I can add the voltage drop here. And we get the same value for the output. Now, what is relevant is that with a small sinner voltage, we are able to provide a larger output, amplify by 1 plus R2 over R1, so we can choose R2 and R1 for any output voltage that we want. So we get an unregulated input here, an unregulated input, and we are going to be able to provide a steady output voltage, of course less than the input voltage, but it is controllable. So we put a potentiometer here, we can regulate the output. Now notice also, that contrary to the shunt regulators that we saw, this resistor is not going to need to be as large as before because it's not in parallel, it's not in series with the output. Meaning, in order to bias here, IS, we have V input, not minus V output, but minus VC divided by R3. This is one of the reasons why the Serious regulators are actually more efficient than the shunt regulators that we previously saw.